Why do you ghost after the first date? Opinions on body hair. Is it weird to a guy if a girl peeps? <laughs> There's always something better for you this way, not yeah. that way. Does a guy care if I'm a little bitchy slash sarcastic? Do guys like eye contact? Have you ever done anal? <laughs> God. Hey guys, it's Amanda. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with Teo. What's up guys? Tell them a little bit about yourself. My name is Teo. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm Amanda's best friend. Yeah. So. He makes YouTube videos. He has I do a channel. as well. We just filmed for his channel. I'll mm -hmm. have it linked in the description. Yep. It's gonna be a good one. They're always gonna be good. They're always great. <laughs> so, so today, we're gonna be filming a video where we're asking questions that you guys are too afraid to ask boys. Mm -hmm. Going on with the series, except I feel like this one is gonna actually be good advice because yeah. Tao's actually good at giving advice. Yeah, I'll definitely help you guys out. I like to go in depth yeah. with the questions for sure. I have yet to see the questions. This is all very like a blind reaction yeah. to it. So yeah. it should be a good one. Also, he makes videos like this. Like mm -hmm. you make advice videos, so. Yeah, a lot of the videos I make, uh, people will DM me, email me, whatever, and just be like, something's going on in my relationship, something's going on in my personal life, and if you can help me out, I kind of respond in video format to make it a little bit more helpful for everyone else. So if you guys are interested in that kind of content, please subscribe. So. Yup. Yep. So let's just go on. I really haven't really looked at the questions either. Mm -hmm. First question, we'll start off easy. Mm -hmm. Do you think the guy should pay for the first couple of dates? Yes, absolutely. Because it shows like, if you're gonna split it, it just can kind of lead into like you guys being friends. Yeah. But if he's paying and he's offering it and he's like making you not pay, it means like it can mean more. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Yeah, but I always like <laughs> offer. Mm -hmm. Like if I a guy takes me on a date, I'll offer, and then they always are like, no, no, no. Yeah. It's a red flag to not offer. Yeah. But it's like if you offer and the guy's like, no, like I got yeah. it, then yeah, for sure. Is it true, according to Call Her Daddy, that men actually hate anal? Have you ever done anal? <laughs> <laughs> I've not done anal. Um, <laughs> God. Um. I cannot confirm nor deny if you guys love anal or not. I think that's more of a very personal question. Yeah, I don't know. I, I think don't think guys. Preference? I don't think I can speak for the community no of males that. If they, if we can like, like, oh. you know, I think it's a very personal question, like I said, so <laughs> next question. <laughs> if a guy lasts a long time, is it a good thing or a bad thing for the girl? It depends. So if it's like the first time and he's like taking forever, he don't like you. A hundred percent, he doesn't yeah. like you. Or like if it's, if you're a couple, like whatever, if you're kind of integrated or like together, like you guys are something established and it takes a while, then that means he's just really trying to impress you. But off rip, like if it's your first couple times, he should nut fast, 100%. Because if he doesn't, it just means like, one of two things actually. If he nuts fast, he's either just fucking you, mm -hmm. right? Or he likes you a lot, mm -hmm. right? But that'll, that's pretty easy to tell on after he nuts. Yeah. So if he's like hella nice to you, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? And like trying to, like, like some guys like would do, cuddle. some guys would be hella stupid and be like, oh, so how was it, right? Oh my god, I hate that question. <laughs> so if it's fast and he's acting like a complete dickhead, he, you mean nothing to him. Mm -hmm. But then if he's like, hey, like, do you want to go hang out? Do you want to, you want something to eat? You want a glass of water or something like that? And then he likes you a lot and he was just like, just liked your insides. Like, oh, what's can I say? <laughs> like, that's, like your insides. that's basically it. <laughs> do guys like eye contact? Yes. Oh my god. I think it intimidates guys sometimes oh though. Like god. some guys it intimidates and other guys like love it. Yeah. If you're a pussy, they won't like it. Yeah. But if like you're with the shits, oh my god. Eye contact is insane. Red flag if they don't like eye contact. Is it really? Yeah. Think so? That's like one of my like... It shows like you have like... like Confidence. Confidence and like strength. As yeah. a guy, like if a girl can't intimidate you with their eyes, bro, like you're a solid dude. Because girls are naturally intimidating. Like, guy, like guys yeah. get scared of like how beautiful no. women are. Eye contact I think is that a test for like sure. the eye contact that I make with guys like makes them like fall in love. Yeah, puts a hex on them. With no, their like eyes. I think that I do on accident. You have those. It's like, what do you have? Demon eyes? You get guys that you're interested in demon eye look. Yeah, you do. You're such a fucker. <laughs> She'll be at the club and be like, like fuck me eyes kind of yeah. thing. Demon eyes, fuck me yeah. eyes. It's like you'll look across the room and be like, I want you, and then like. She'll like bring them over with her eyes. Oh my god! If you god. have power, if you have power to do that, then you're a different. Oh you're a different breed. Good for me. Good, great for you. It's awesome. I know. Why do men feel the need to make us feel like we need them, but really they need us? Who hurt you? Though? <laughs> <laughs> nah, but okay. I think that like guys naturally, guys want to feel like they're needed, 
I think it's like more of like a masculinity thing because guys like to feel like they have a sense of purpose. Not saying that women don't, but it's like kind of like a providing thing. The guys get insecure around independent women like that because it's like, you don't need them. Yeah. It's like, why don't you need me? And it's like a big ego shock. So that's probably why. Like every guy wants an independent woman, quote unquote, until they get one. Yeah. And then they realize like, like she doesn't need me. She doesn't like she'd need be fine me. without me. Yeah, and that's when it's like, fuck, maybe I need someone who relies on me and is desperate for me. But it has to do with their ego. So then if it has to do with that, and it, it's a red flag for you, obviously, mm-hmm. because it's like, why would you want someone who's like wanting power in the yeah. relationship because you're dependent on them? Like, you don't want that. It should be like this, not like this. You feel me? Facts. Yeah. Great advice. Does a guy care if we're a little shy when we hang out? No. I feel like it's kind of easy. It's cute. Like to me, well, I can only speak for myself and maybe like a few of my friends, but it's cute. Like honestly, like when a girl is nervous to a guy, it doesn't show that you're not confident or not interested. It's like the reservedness that you have is almost attractive because it means like it's going to take a lot for us to get to know you. If you talk to a guy and like you're not reserved or like if a guy talks to a girl and she's not reserved, it could be like as a guy, you're like, oh, she's for everybody, right? Mm-hmm. But it's like if she's a little bit reserved and a little bit shy, and she's making you in like making you have to work to get to know her, the likelihood of her doing that whole process with another guy is very unlikely. So it's very attractive to us. So that's why we kind of like wow. shy girls and reserved girls. Really getting the thought process yep. of a dude right now. Mm-hmm. For good guys, not fuck boys. If it's like fuck boy type deal, then they just want someone who's hella confident and cocky, and they just want to shut that shit down. Does a guy care if I'm a little bitchy slash sarcastic? It depends on the context. If there's like subliminal truths in the sarcasm, Mm -hmm. it's pretty bad. And if you're like constantly bitchy, like no one wants to actually be around somebody that's a bitch. Exactly. Yeah, I agree. No one wants to be around a bitchy girl all the time or someone who's like dumb ass sarcastic. It's like if you can talk without being sarcastic. I know, but like not like crazy. Yeah. You have to know when to do do it. It's 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 context. It's timing and context. So it's all about that. Why does a guy reach out again when they see you are doing great again? Like an ego thing. It's like, it's a whole independent like, oh, like they moved on from me type deal. I mean, girls do it with guys who moved on without relying on them. You know what I'm talking about? Like yeah. people do it to people who like leave them in the past. Mm-hmm. And it's like their last straw. It's like, I'm reaching out to you. Like, do you remember me? Like, yeah. please don't forget me. Mm-hmm. Like this and that. So it's like. Or they see you doing good and then they want you again. So yeah, because you, you stepped up and you, yeah. and it's like, nah, bro. Don't ever go backwards. I don't care if you love the shit out of them. There's a reason why. And there's always something better for you this way, not yeah. that way. Because you're going to just repeat the same mistake if you go back. And all the progress you made by yourself is going to get torn down by that person that mm-hmm. fucked you over before. Why do you ghost after the first date? If they don't like you. I don't know, they don't like, like me. I've been, they ghosted. Don't like I've been ghosted after the first date. Yeah, that just means that they don't like you. Yeah. Yeah, ghosting is kind of fucked, but everyone I hate has the done comment, it, I yeah. feel like. Now, especially. Yeah, it's I don't just think, easier. Yeah, but like, I don't think people have the balls to go up to and be like, dude, like, I just don't like you. I know, but that's it, also mean. No, but it's like cold turkey. It's like, you're not gonna left, you're not leaving no stone unturned at that point. You know what I mean? Like, ghosting leaves people, like, to question about themselves. Like, which Sorry is if I've ever ghosted you yeah. and you're watching this. <laughs> I just didn't like you. <laughs> <laughs> but I feel bad. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Opinions on body hair, underarms, legs, and bikini. Personally, like, I mean, like, you got arm hair, like, whatever, it's cool, but, like, I like, I don't like hair, so, like, I don't even like hair on my body, I'm not gonna lie, so no. it's like, if you it's can. personal preference yeah, to I, everybody. Yeah, like, as long as you're clean, it's fine, you feel me? That's different. Obviously, it's kind of like a pivot off the question, but it's like, yeah. if you're clean, like, having hair wouldn't be a big deal, mm-hmm. you feel me? Like, like, me personally, I don't like hair on my body. If a girl has hair, it's not like a deal breaker, mm-hmm. whatever the fuck, but it's like if you're like a, a wolf man, like I'm not fucking with you. Like, <laughs> a it's wolf just, man. That's just not it. But like just keep that shit clean. Yeah. You're alright. Is it possible to still be in friend zone after making out in a club? Yeah. I mean, yeah. Yeah. I like, feel like people, make, bro, now, especially nowadays, friends make out with friends, which is fucked. Which I'm not really f- down with because yeah. it's so hella incestual and I'm not really <laughs> with that shit. And so it's like, but like it's if you're, true. it is, bro. So it's like if you are making out with someone in the club, are you in the friend zone? Yes. You're not fully in. The this club. is why I even think they even made out with their friends to begin with. It's because for one, they couldn't find anyone else in the club that wanted to make out with them. Two, they were just curious and maybe they like, you know how that people, you know how yeah, they think they're attracted to dumb drunk. They're gonna think yeah. anyone's attracted. Three, it's like, what if for the brief moment they're like, oh like, 
maybe I might give him a chance if he can kiss good. Yes and no. Yeah. <laughs> Next <Sorry>. question. <laughs> I have decent sized boobs and literally like no ass and I feel like guys don't like girls with no asses. The beautiful thing about that though is you can work on your ass. That's facts. You can Do work on your ass. Sure. You can go to the gym, don't buy an ass. Don't buy an ass. 100% don't buy an ass. It's not fun. Oh Fake God. ass is not fun. Real ass, that's where it's at. <laughs> and also mm. like, some guys like boobs more than butt. Yeah. It, also, who cares, it's your body. Yeah, that's true. To be honest, guys like pretty faces more than body. Like 100%. A guy will choose a pretty face over a body any day. Makeup and cute fit or none and sweats slash hoodie. What's that Drake song? Showing the makeup on that's near the prettiest. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that sweats, <laughs> sweats and everything. There's yeah. The thing about it is like if you want to get cute and dolled up, like that's awesome, right? But it's like, like I feel like you'll reach a certain level of like comfortability with the sweatpants and everything like that. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? And that's where it's like, that's when it's like real, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? So definitely the sweatpants for me. I think guys prefer that more too, honestly. Yeah, I mean, guys like to know that the girl feels comfortable, I think. Yeah. That's like the main thing. Exactly. All right, doing a complete 180 over here. Is it weird to a guy if a girl queefs? <laughs> um, <laughs> no, I wouldn't say so. Dude, she queefs, she queefs, but it's not, it's not. To me, it's not a big deal. I know some guys be like, ill. Yeah. You know what I mean? But then that's just. That's just, just like a pussy. That's yeah, the same kind of guy like, that would like think a girl's gross if like she bled during sex. Yeah, exactly. Like bro. that's like, no one's fault. You don't like, want to You don't want to deal. Happens. Yeah, you don't want to deal with someone who's like critiquing like that. Like yeah. nah, like. Like you're weird. not perfect. Exactly, but like you said, like they're pussies. She quits. It's cool. Like, it's whatever. It's cool. It's whatever. How do I give an amazing blowjob? Please help. <laughs> 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 I can only say this because I've had the worst head of my life one time and I've also had like experiences with great head <laughs> So I would say make that shit sloppy and do it like you love it That's that's the best way if you enjoy what you're doing you can make anything feel good. So it's like Perfect example if you like cooking the food's gonna come out better Make sense? So it's like if you like if you learn to like getting head you get good head you can just tell when someone like, it's also like, people like to please people. So it's like, if you like the person you're with, okay, and you want to sexually please them, you're going to try to do a good yeah. job. So it just kind of comes naturally. There's not like... And a, like, make sure you don't use your teeth. Don't do... Yeah, no. Uh, no. Um, <laughs> no. <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> but if you want to go down like to the nitty gritty shit, make that shit sloppy, wet, just make love to your, the penis, I guess, <laughs> with your mouth. Alright, next question. I don't question. know. <laughs> I don't know if you put all that in. <laughs> make love. Do you guys like it when girls make the first move? Yes. 100%. I think anyone likes it when anyone yeah. makes the first move. Makes you feel good. Yeah, it makes you feel like, damn, like, that's cool. Yeah. Like, you know. How do you know if you're in a relationship and he doesn't like you anymore? Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. It depends. So guys have a tendency to get really quiet when they have a lot of personal things going on and they don't wanna have whatever it is that they're going on on the side in their personal life affect the relationship that you're in. And so that can be a big like misinterpretation to thinking that he's no longer in love with you or interested in you. And so what you have to realize is first, make sure that it is like about his life and like talk to him about it. Like, you know, like everyone says communication is key. Mm -hmm. To talk to him and understand like, you know, are you okay? Like you've been a little quiet lately. Don't go up to him and be like, you know, you've been acting different. Like, who's yeah. like, don't make assumptions. A guy will tell you, like, if it really is you, a guy will be like, you know, like, I don't understand, like, why I'm feeling this way about you anymore, this and that. But more than likely than not, if it's a good relationship, it's about something else. Yeah. So back to the question, you could tell when a guy is no longer interested in you because he won't care about what you're doing. So if you're gonna be like, oh, I'm going out, just be like, all right. He's not checking on you. It's like, oh, I'm gonna go to the club with like some friends. All right, like, it's good. Like what? Like, yeah. You know what I mean? Like you're at the club and you're expecting him to check on you. He's not checking on you. That's that's a sign. If you're around him 24/7 and he's just kind of like tolerating you, that's yeah. when you're like kind of like, damn, like uh, he's no longer interested. And that can be for a number of reasons, but that's more personal to the relationship. That was really long. That but was but sorry. Good answer. <laughs> Do guys like girls who don't sleep with them on the first night? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Make them work for it. No guys deserve that that easily. Facts. It gives them a chance to like get to know you more. Mm -hmm. Also, like 
yeah, maybe you're not interested in like a relationship, so then like who cares? Just yeah, do, do it if you want, you want to. But if you want to have a relationship with them, like it's kind of like a test to see if they actually want to get to know you or if they just want to sleep with you. Yeah, facts. So, why do some guys hide their emotions? Because their emotions weren't ever taken seriously before. So why would I like? Why would a guy want to yeah. open up to you again? Yeah. And I mean, just for you, even though you're gonna be like, no, but I do care, whatever. Yeah. It's like it's like a likelihood of you being like honest with that is like nah, like you you could care less. I mean, also guys think like if I give out too much information, it's almost like leverage against mm -hmm. me, especially about eating ass. <laughs> Dude, if you eat ass. Like, <laughs> Don't that's eat too ass. much leverage against someone in an argument. Could you imagine being at, like, a restaurant, and you guys get into a heated argument? That is, like, the wild card in Uno. Like, a plus 25. <laughs> it's like, you ate my ass. Like, <laughs> like, like no, I didn't. Like, I didn't, like everyone's going to be there like, damn, bro. Like, nah, so don't eat ass. <laughs> don't eat ass, kids. Okay. Don't eat ass. Okay, the last question is, if a guy is romantically interested in a girl, will he make a sexual move with her first? Not so fast. No, yeah. Not not like as quick as you would just want to hook up. Like if a guy just wants to fuck you, like you can go to, you can go to any club or you can go to any like bar or whatever. Guys are touching on girls all the time. Mm -hmm. Like in the worst ways, right? It's not good, obviously, but if they like you, they're not gonna do that, yeah. for sure. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Go subscribe to Teo. Yeah, please do. Follow I'm, TikTok, I'm trying to get Instagram. to follow me on all my socials. Uh, they'll be in the description. Yep. Um, I'm trying to hit 10K before the end of the year. Obviously, that's like a big ass goal, but we'll see what happens. But yep. yeah. Peace out. <laughs>